Yes, we're back to the originals. Yay! Andy Boy, keep rolling the ground. How are we doing, lads? All right? Good. Good to have you back, good. Andy Boy. It's, been, it's, it's been a hard graph of foot, you mate. Uh, Derry <laughs> Ferguson started that run, didn't he? Struggling. <laughs> <laughs> mate, he was still sitting there talking to him until last night, Derry. <laughs> <laughs> we had to drag him out, didn't we, say? <laughs> out with the ears. Some man. <laughs> See, we uh, usually do that, but we do it for banter, don't we? Ah, but he's just ah, doing he too far. He kept body for it. He kept it. Did you see Hutz get his uh, Tony Pulis performance last week? 4-4-2. Uh, four, four, but the main man, he, he outshone him, didn't he? On that tactics board. Well, uh, Cheers, yeah. Andy. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the big man did do well, but... Ah, made a good the big point. man knows his stuff. Does his coaching that, I know. Aye. So do you, though. 100%. Well, who's better at coaching than you used to? Oh, great question. Oh, oh, if we go on Friday, say, I'll add a fucking disaster. I'm going to coach him golf after this. You've got golf after this, driving where he's going, are you? Yeah, well, you've, you've got the right attire for it. I'm going to be having another place to change, so. Well, you didn't skelton boys off his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Try to chip it home. <laughs> he's dressed up, like <laughs> <he's laughs> up like a pro V1, look at him. <laughs> oh, yes, oh, look at that. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Paul, Gaze a cut of skills at the front Aye, with the ball. Nah, come on, mate. Gaze come on, do you just want to, do you just want to now test... Now that you're back in love with the coach and give it, show us some of the ball. I'll just slide there. You look like Mike Phelan, Man United. I'll you. Have they fucking... Easy on the light there behind you, mate. Right then, there, John. What are you doing? He's just putting a bulge. Where's Brandon? He's just putting a bulge. Put a bulge. Put a bulge. Put a bulge. <laughs> put a bulge. Go first touch. Oh. Oh. Wow. Fire him in and I'll just... Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's a, it's a clinic. Oh, <laughs> <that's> a... <laughs> <laughs> one there, one there. One there. One there. Watch this, I'm just going to really call it side. Watch this. See you later. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, that, was that was excellent. Is your arse hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely eating those trousers. See the amount of weight I put on chat. Yes, Paul Slade. Master class. Thanks, boys. It's not even just a tactics board, eh? Got it all. Here, I always, I'm a great leader. Are you challenging me, do? Celtic and Rangers now, the draw's been made. Aye. Where it's going to be won and lost. And a cup tie, so it's a bit different for a league game. Isn't it? Can, right. you, can you set up the same as you would a cup in the league? It's a one half, isn't it? Exactly. So you want to go for it right now? How, how are you wanting Celtic to set up against Rangers? We'll get to that, won't we? We need to... What, neither of the time? Aye, it, it, it's, it, we need to make that a full segment now, I think. Same on the tactics, tactics board. Yeah. board and I'll challenge because if you go in last week, I think Kev is probably the one that no. was the best. In I it, only but said one point. But if you good point, though, Kev. That was a fantastic point. But if you go on the guest that comes on against me, he was blown out the water. He when he hurts. Hurts. You've retired, he'll never be yeah. back here again. He'll not be back. You told me that after the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> he kept saying, oh, I can't wait to get back home, like, mate, you're not coming back. <laughs> uh, draw yesterday. Who will be happier, Kev, say like a Rangers with that draw? I'm first over you. I actually don't know, Si. I think, I think Celtic, um, I think ideally the Scottish football would like to see them meet each other in the final. That's the fairy tale. But I think, see, to be honest, I think it's actually a good draw for Celtic. And, and I say that in a way that... Wow. Wow. I, I say that in a way that Fucking Rangers are part of it. The season's over with quicker than it needs to be, because the season's been horrific. I feel that like this is just icing on the cake. We are Rangers are probably it's a home tie for Rangers. Three wins so far in the old firm. I think it possibly could be another one, um, and that's the season over with. And I think they can then start to to do this, no, no rebuild, but start to gather what's needed to to start challenging again next season. Because I feel that if Rangers win the tie, they go on and win the cup. I feel if Celtic win the tie, there's still potential for somebody to knock Celtic out in the way there. That's how I, I just think. I just think there's just too inconsistent. No, I disagree with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. No, I'm only kidding. No, I'm only kidding. Hey, no, don't get no, on. No, I don't. I don't. I don't, 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 don't shout it. I don't like that. Come on. Don't shake it. I just want to shake it. Don't get on. I'll say, be honest, I didn't listen to any of it. So I didn't know what he said. No, I'm kidding on. I said, no, I don't know what he will. It's a kid on now. But yeah. On the certain Rangers, there was a question the other day, who's it more important for? And of course, it, it's too, but it's more important, it fucking hell, it's more important for Celtic to win this. Because Rangers have, their season, they've done what they've set out today. And if Celtic go empty handed, then it sums the season up. So, listen, of course, it's important for Rangers, but Celtic must get their hands in this trophy. Simon. Does players, did you just watch a draw when you saw players? Nah, no, not arsed, no. Yeah. Nah. You get, some busy, you get some busy boys yeah. that Andy, watch, watch, watch a draw with yeah. <laughs> Watch the Champions League draw, don't they? But. I watched the Champions League draw. Well, Champions, the Champions League draw when you're playing. Oh, when you're playing. Scottish Cup, yeah, much Scottish Cup. Do you remember that? Just seeing what stadium you're going to play at. That was good to see the boys at that. Were you part of that Rangers team that cheered when they drew Celtic? You were, weren't you? So were you watching that at that time? 
When was that? Remember Mert said the boys are cheering in there? I was probably in fucking the Middle East at that point, mate. I, just, I can't oh, yeah. remember I must have been. Uh-huh. But, uh, that worked out brilliant, didn't it? <laughs> 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 it's, a better, it's going to be a better draw for Rangers than being at Ibrox, isn't it? Because it straight away it probably yeah. puts Rangers as comfortable favourites. But I don't know, you know, if, see if Eddie Howe gets announced as the Celtic manager, I think that will galvanise him. I think it'll yeah. be, I, I think they'll get a reaction at that. So they're needing a jolt. I ah, think they need that something. Could be a jolt. But do you think he would want to come in and straight away and get fired into no. the team? Nah. No, no, you know, no. I don't think he's coming until the summer, aye. Aye. Eddie, how do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a pillow. Kind of saying that, can't I? You've been wanting Eddie Howe for a while, haven't you? I have. Uh, I didn't want him at the start of when they were saying about getting rid of Lenny for this season. I don't think he'd uh, handle the pressure, but I think he'll be really good, mate. Aye, I think. Uh, I think he's a he's Close a tough manager. I think the players will, will relate yeah. to as well. Do you play against these teams? Do they? Aye, they were good. good they? they were good. Mate, when you played against them, the proper pop, yeah. And, and they just had had so many ways of getting on the ball, so many different rotations. And what about after the ball, non-stop? Yeah, were they relentless? And I, I actually thought, I know they, they were that way. They were that good in the championship, but they played like out and out football. That I thought seemed to get the prem, they'll struggle big yeah. time. But they never stuck. To aye, it, they stuck. They stuck with so, it. Brilliant. So, see, in terms of like him coming in and then he's got to recruit. Is it ball, ball players is going to be signing? Yeah. Aye. 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 I don't know because he signed like the Lamina and stuff like that for Aye. Bournemouth who had, he, he usually had like a Marvin Bartley played from Monaco against him. He, was, he had a guy that would go a bit. So he, he's got a good balance to his team. I think he struggled when he started trying to big, buy, uh, buy bigger players. Aye. Yeah. People, but see when he bought players for the lower leagues and made them better I think that's what he's good at and that's what he's certainly probably yeah. need, isn't it? People actually base their criticism on him spending as much as he did in the Premier League getting relegated but he was the reason they got that money. Aye. Yeah. They were Aye. in League 2. He got them, they barely had any money that time. And he's got them up to the Premier League, be able to spend the money. And listen, the, the recruitment was rang in the last season, but he can't. He, his whole time there was unbelievable. Do you know where that criticism came from, though, with the money spending? When you leaked at Junior <laughs> Stanis, I was going to grand a week. <laughs> <laughs> the Bournemouth fans were in an uproar. Man. See, like my see, like players are going to fortune next season, aren't they? <laughs> but he's, coming in. Oh, but he's, uh, he's been linked with Steve Cook as well. Centre half. Centre half. Probably, do you not like him now? Is that not, is he the older he guy? He looks like a pure mechanic or something. Because we've got a loose cook in the centre mid and this is the Stevie Cook. I'm sure the Stevie Cook's the older guy. Yeah, Steve that Cook's the older guy. And I'm half. sure he, he, he lacked legs. Mm. And we've seen what uh, lack of legs does to you. <laughs> Fucking hard to get. Steve was a left back. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? No, I think he's a centre half, isn't he? Aye, centre, centre half. half. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought he meant lack of like legs. I can't what you're <laughs> No, and uh, we've seen obviously at Celtic and stuff and you're playing such on the... F- uh, I feel fucking just... I can't get in it, today. Um, what were you up to last night? Shattered. <laughs> was you look fattered. Fat and shattered. <laughs> <laughs> you busy boy last night, Simon. Uh, but we, when you're always on the front foot, you have to have fast legs at the back. Do you know what I mean? So you, the boy could stay at home, please. They play an attack and brand of football. Yeah. Too, so I think Celtic yeah. fans will be happy with the style of play they're going to play, but it's a rebuild, isn't it? See, when people say they kind of might not be able to handle the pressure as well, like, if you win football games, you'll not be under pressure. No, no. And I think he's capable. He's got results against mate. Klopp, Guardiola. I think he's got results uh, against other top mate, teams. He was terribly tipped to be an ex-England manager yeah. Yeah. three, four years ago. Yeah. So he's no mug. But I don't think pressure... Like, I mean, you, you, you use our football guys as well. Like, you play in front of environments and stuff and play the, and playing big games. Well, you don't love. really... You don't really... <laughs> like, you don't really feel the pressure that much, really. Think about it. Like, he's going to get maybe some more criticism and more... Spotlight on him in terms of it's the whole of Scotland or fifty percent of Scotland, whereas in Bournemouth it was just that wee bubble because Bournemouth moved to a new stadium. It only went from like what twelve thousand to twenty twenty thousand. Twenty thousand, I think it was. Uh-huh. So it's just going to be a difference in terms of the size, and I think he'll adapt it quite well. But he's going to go off to a good start. On that cave, but Celtic Rangers, you can the clubs can eat your life mm. if you're not strong mm. enough mentally and. You can't see it in a bit of because you don't know until he comes in, but certainly if you're no mentally strong, then listen. How did you deal with it when, when you were younger? <laughs> Why don't you help him? You seem to deal with it well. <laughs> so I can't see if Eddie Howe did phone you and say, right, I need, I, where did it go wrong? It's a fucking set up, Si. You've set me up. <laughs> it's been a stitch up for the start. It's been a stitch up for the start. I know, imagine me to a fucking mentality, say like, I'm not fucking... On a plane somewhere. And flip flops. Flip flops. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right. right, on the on the game, who'd you fancy to win? You're going Rangers kid. Do you know what? I think um I, I was I was obviously a wee bit of Jess saying that it would suit Celtic in terms of trying to get the season over. But I think Celtic in the last two old fun games have shown that they can match Rangers person for person. I think they've struggled in scoring goals against Rangers to actually try and get um get the get a win. 
So I think it'll be no different. I think Celtic could go there and play well. It's just an old firm game. Mm. It'll go one way or the other. Um, and I think, I think Celtic's got a good a chance. You know what I mean? I think Celtic, to try and salvage a horrendous season, need to try and bring some silverware in. Um, but I don't know. I think, I think Rangers... They're out of the cup now in terms of the, the European football. So the, the focus now is the league Scottish one. Cup. The focus is the Scottish Cup. Yeah. So Gerard will be looking at a a quick fire double. Is Gerard won a cup? Yeah. No. No. So I think that'll be something definitely for him. But <clears throat> I think the games it doesn't matter that way. It's yeah. Who turns up on the day, isn't it? Aye. I think means they're the favourites, but Celtic should be happy enough in the draw that they'll probably think that they're the only team that could potentially beat Rangers. Rangers yeah, good to point. stop them winning the cup. But see, see to be honest, right? I fancy the to win, but I, I, I do hope it's a better game than the other three have been. Yeah. Because fucking hell, man. They've been great. They'll How, what, they'll year, they? Or, or, or. I mean, how flat are they? Uh, just like everything that makes Old Firm what it is, you've not really seen it without fans, have you? Mm-hmm. Like, just the intensity, no, I, the tempo, like a fight in there. <clears> but I think that'll come. Do you think that's because of fans, though, or is it? Aye, it's fans. I don't fans, but I think this will, you will get this, the fiery because it's a cup game. I think that'll bring that intensity. When was that last time Rangers <laughs> Celtic played each other? Like early round of the cup? It's not been for years. Eh? It's usually always a final, isn't it? Aye, I've seen it. Semi final, yeah. Obviously, yeah. that boy that was doing the draw didn't he get the gist for the hot and cold ball? I know, what he? is he thinking? <laughs> oh, no, he's dead. Were you were not happy when it, when it came out? Why are you cheering? Why are Rangers at home? You ever cheered when your balls are taking it? Probably, he's ever had to cheer a lot with all that. Danny's still playing nonsense. <laughs> Where were you last night? What was happening last night? Oh, Andy, have you seen his screensaver? No, mate, it shows. I haven't met a phone since you can. Then it's there. It's there. Oh, what? <laughs> is it still on? Aye. <laughs> sure. You always thought these are. Really relax, mate. We thought we thought we'd be here somewhere. It's just cute, isn't it? It's cute. Oh, cough. Is it doing the Rock Clyde, though? Is it in the Rock Clyde? Is it you in the way? What a backdrop. Is it? That's nice. What are you doing to say? His dad's bollock in the water. Did you ask Did you ask a member of the public to take a picture of you and your missus facing the water? Sorry, come on. You actually did take the photo. It was a photo. Tom Boyd, isn't it? Where is that, Steve? Where is it? Uh, that's shit. it, Joe. You know that is that's it. Then the at Clyde Bank, Andy. You see the big people all go up a Saturday morning. Got a big walk up the hill. Aye. Uh, what's it called? Clyde Bank Hill. No. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, what's it called? Oh, a partner Sky. No. no. He's got that. He's got that in in his room as well, don't you? On a next to the totally one. Right, next to the totally one. Yeah. <laughs> aye. Right beside it. Aye. <laughs> that one, my man. That one. Totally took the photo. Yeah. <laughs> that totally took. <laughs> Who took the picture? <laughs> she don't know me. Uh, oh, brilliant. Uh, will Eddie Howe be able to keep the likes? Uh, is that a big enough name to keep? Ayer, Edward, or will they still go regardless of the managers? I think. Uh, oh, you're jumping good. So, <laughs> no, you go. I think. I think. No, I, 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 I think. Opinion. I think you could keep them. You, you think you could keep them? I think they could keep them. I, I don't. I, I think it would only take a certain guy like that because what they know is, and these guys are only daft. Eddie Howe's not going to sell it forever. If he wanted to put it back in the Premier League, and they know if they do well under him, he'll be going down with him. That's Good another point. wee eye to look on it. Thanks very much, guys. And that's a wee eye to look on it. So, no, listen, I, I, don't, I do think Edward will leave, though, to be fair. I, don't, I mean, I may, may have thought about Christie and maybe McGregor. I think Ayer and Edward will be away. You go back, Kev? I think it'll be down to the, 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 the new board and what, what the club want out of it. Because are Ayer and Edward at their peak value? in terms of, will the club be able to draw in the money they think they can for them, that will allow, because I think the money that they're bringing for those two will go towards signing Eddie, Eddie Howe's budget for the new players coming mm. in. But can the club demand the, the level of finance that allows that to happen? If they can't get that level, they might just say, look guys, gaze to Christmas, get yourself... But I think, see, they, I don't know. they can go for free next year, can't they? Is that right? Oh, 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 right. Oh, so are they both at the end of their contracts? Yeah, well, that, puts, left. that puts that right in into Edward and Ayer's hands because they can now, the club will probably will try to sell them, won't they? Yeah. I think it'll be done early. Like, whatever happens, it'll yeah. be done early. We'll have a conversation with them. Yep. Are you open to staying? If they're no, they'll be at the door. Mm. And then they'll just need to try and get the fee that, that they think they can get. Two of the players will demand a big fee. Will it be as much as the potential I got last year when we only a year left in our contract? I'm not sure, but whatever happens, it'll happen early. Moisey got off of the job, didn't he? Turn it down. Aye. Couldn't get who's big enough up here. Aye, I know. It's Man, a nightmare, it. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's a so disaster. Kellen's telling me, no, getting a, no big kisses in Scotland. He did the main stand and all, didn't he? So like, 
Ja, the main stand, it's like part. Too small. <laughs> Too small. <laughs> Why do you put a front door at the back of the big stand? <laughs> <laughs> uh, McGregor signed the one-year deal. Andy must be delighted. How important was that? Aye, class. Did you know? Have you, did you speak to him beforehand? No, I yeah, never. But I, 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 no, but I did. T- I told you. I, th- I thought last year the Rangers won the league and I chucked it. I thought no doubt whatsoever. Uh, maybe, maybe heard that for him. I cut my conversations uh-huh. or whatnot. But when I'm playing as well as he has, I just, I, I, I thought he'd be mad. No, he'd, he'd just stay on for another year and see how it goes. And the thing is, he's on 85 European uh, appearances. appearances for Rangers. Mm. Uh, he's now top ahead of John Gregg, but imagine trying to go for 100 European appearances for Rangers, and they can wow. do that this year. Yeah, they just obviously need to go as, <clears> as far as they did this year, and they can, they can hit that mark. So, I uh, delighted that he signed another year, and pff, he's still, he still doesn't show any signs of stuff. Must 40, be a dagger at you. Was it? I think he's 30, 39, 40. I think. Yeah, he'd be 40, 40, 40, must be 40 this year or something, or close mm. to that. Yeah. I think he is. Goalies can play 40. I mean, goalies can play, play 70, yeah. yeah. Goalies don't do it. No. See, this is well, mate. I, I, See, player of the year being goalies, mate. I'm no for that. Shite. I know, a lot of shite, honestly. But player of the years? Uh-huh. Uh, luck, never be a goalie, mate. A lot of, mate, honestly, it's never had something to hear all the time. You need a ball playing goalkeeper. Mate, when does a keeper ever do a hard pass? They pass right the centre and half of the fullback, and the odd occasion will clip it. Clip it to a fullback. And I mean, the clip, that clip pass is the easiest in the game. I, I can't get my head around this one, but do you know what I mean? Uh, uh-huh. No, I know what you mean, mate. But were you devastated when you heard McGregor had signed again? It was a hard one, wasn't it? Uh-huh. <clears throat> I think he's been a big, a big part of their season. Um, but I think in the Europa League, the last round, could have done better with a few of the goals. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's slowing down a wee bit. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, we'll see. So you ain't got no be the same goalie next year? Do you think I'm a joke figure? Seriously. Kev, do you think I'm a joke figure? Do you think I'm a joke figure? Slaney, you are you like on an you are on fire. No, I feel like it's honest. I think you've had a great start. You're feeling a bit insecure today, aren't you? What, bro? You're feeling a bit insecure today? I'm very insecure all the time. Hey, what were you doing last night? Simon, come on. Well, something happened last night at the weekend, Simon, didn't there? Well, something definitely happened last night. He's got a salty fucking knife for you. He's fucking dressed as a cow. I don't know what's going on. Would you take McGregor to the Euros, Kev? Would you make a plea to him? Simon, if we were struggling in that department, 100%, but I think we've Marshall and Gordon goal, Gooder. We're, we're goalkeeper heavy. We've got Gordon Marshall. Gordon Marshall? No, Three back. Craig Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Gordon Marshall. Uh, Craig Gordon, obviously, David Marshall. Who's the other one we've got in there? John McLaughlin. John McLaughlin. He's just, I mean, look at John McLaughlin. What's he played? 10 starts for Rangers. And nah, that's a dream job, mate. Isn't it? Some aye, he's, he's actually got many clean that sheets. Boy, but, isn't he? Nah, nah, he's, good he's seven or eight. I'm nine, like, I know him at Sunderland when the Sunderland fans were devastated to see him leave. Who McLaughlin? Aye, he was he good was in the very, very uh-huh. good. Um, so, Griggsy, would he be looked back and think, oh, maybe I should have done it? It would be a, a, a nice icing on the cake to get to Euros, but I think he's got a bit. He wouldn't want to go. He wouldn't want to go. He's no good Aye. No dear Chi Adams and think, you know what I mean? Let's just rock up at the Euros having no help. He wouldn't have taken t- Chi Adams, eh? Nah, I'd agree with him. Come on. What? No. Are, you, are you the same? I, I just, I just, no, I just. Come on, he's not going to after, after, after last week's performances, I'm glad he's in the squad. Yeah, I'm yeah. exactly I'm, same. I'm, I'm totally, fo- like, I, I think he's a. W- we've not had a striker since fuck knows, right? Sorry, we've got to swear. Since God you, knows you know, how long. You, you know, you were a striker for Scotland. I know, but Simon, <laughs> <laughs> every time they, they play the Fair Islands, I hate to get you hiding for a couple of days. No, you're Phones. a hero over there, mate. You're no, a hero aye, for the statue. Aye, for the Pharaohs. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, is that he's what we've been needing. And I would just have liked it if he'd have chosen that opportunity to help us qualify and showed true patriotism. patriotism. Yeah. But to come in at the last minute after no looking like he's going to get where he maybe thinks he'd have got, that's how I see it. So you'd rather it. lose with guys that want to be there, huh? Hey, rather lose. I think the guys there would win, Simon. Yeah, I think the guys in that squad would win. Okay, Paul. No. But there's, there's nobody else in the Scotland squad that can do what she has. No. Exactly, Andrew. No, I beat. Mm. Listen, he's by far, the, uh, by far the best striker. We know that. It was just a bit hang. Listen, be move on. Aye, good on. Move on. Next subject. Positives of a diamond formation for Celtic. Yeah, go. Show us. So Celtic have got the ball, right? Don't we come? You go in there. That means come, guys. So why is he off the pitch? Is that a throw in? Is that a throw in, I? No, no. Bring him back, boys. He's one of the fans there. The big Stevie Bruce. Nah, no. Here we go. So, he's dribbling with the boss, Simon. Yes. Hey, how many times have you seen Trent, Robertson Trent, Trent up? Right. right. How many times have you seen it? All the time. You come in here, you drop in there, you, my right back, get in the back post, right? He's down here, he drops in, whatever. 
Okay, you came in here. Where's your Where's your centre half at this point? Are you just staying back here? Are you pushing them up to a certain point? Sleep him. Turn him to sleep him. As you're the fucking day. Get up the fucking part. <laughs> Come on. Okay, boys. Now we're back. Centre halves are back one game. He's in my right back. Okay. <laughs> Frimpong comes in. Right. Frimpong. He's at Frimpong. He's away. <laughs> John Joe Kenny comes in. Right. He right. comes in the back post. Wax out, tries a step over side, falls his daft ass. <laughs> Tavenier takes the ball, he's back fit. All the fans knew, fans all here. Say, like, no fans in the game, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's no fans in the game, but everybody watching at home, he's doing. How is that fullback and this fullback going to get back and catch the wires? The canny. No, the canny. Right, so but the guys in, in, in the, the, in the hussies, Holland, he'd think they're done. Hey, <laughs> midfielder, step in. This guy, step the fuck in. Okay? <laughs> so, wait, like, hey, no, mate, Simon, full back, drop in centre mid. Full back, <laughs> drop in centre mid. Drop, drop. There's we've got a straight back. Bang. Knee counter attacking my team. Anything? Thanks very much, guys. Been an honour. Well done, Paul. Been a pleasure, so, guys. Paul. Thanks very much. Are you happy with J so James having your starting now? Are you happy with him being one of my David Turnbull? Uh, uh, <laughs> is that a Turnbull, huh? Uh, who, uh, who is it? Who is it? That'll be Brown. Right, so Brownie's right, across. So, he'll cover so you'll that. you'll be happy with, with, with Tav v Brown, and who's on the other side? That is McGregor. He'll, he'll cover that ground, Andrew. Right. And he, that'll right. be it. We've got a team sorted, back in shape, and we're ready to go again on the front foot pressing. See, are you, having that, are you having that big a gap between Brown and your centre half? For Tavernage to hey. play the ball in that space? He should have already been earlier. Cover into that area there because if he gets by he covers in where does he go? drop in there there we go once again Sam outsmarted him again <laughs> Andrew man. I would like to see you going up on how Rangers score into Celtic there we go I don't know how I fucking follow you mate come on uh, why don't we do why don't we do it the lead up to the game right yes. lead up to the, the game. lead up to the when game when is the game comes. is it soon? Seven, uh, April 17th 17th right well so that's next, right, week, so next week next week's a build up right, right okay next week it starts so yeah, both of you come up with a plan. But well, I think what I'll do is I'll play what Celtic are going to play instead of what I think. Because if I do that, there's no stopping that. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Okay. So maybe what you so you feel as if John Kennedy's going to stick with the way he does, so you could maybe help him by showing him he'll how that. they're going to play. He'll right. get he'll get sent in that. Right. Only I think is, John Kennedy will be mega negative. Would you? He'll go there and try and I think he'll sit go there and sit in. Right. I think the I think what's happened before we losing three games, I think he'll go there and see if he was to get like a, a point or the point. Well, is the cup game first or league game first? Cups first. Seven, right, eight, so seven. Cup, so I think he'll go there and I think it'll be quite negative. Right. I just hear a strange feeling But Kev, I, I, you could be right, but I think Celtic can play like that. I don't no, think no, they, I don't, I don't think, think they can. I think they've got to be on the front foot. See when Celtic's on the front foot, attacking Rangers and pressing them high, mm. that's when Rangers then become a wee bit vulnerable, I think, sometimes. Because that's shown, but... You've got to then be careful of the counter. Because CK, see if you sit in, right, and you're allowing Tavenier and Barisic, the Don't cross is your box. Yep. Celtic on the Celtic can't defend Aye. crosses well. So you're you right, need to be on the front foot. That's Good why point, they need lads. to press high, because see if they don't, like you say, they'll just pick them off and put them under pressure at the back that it'll cause chaos. Seen the three games? Every goal's been a set piece, eh? Or a second what piece. Was, what was the... Or a second piece, set piece. Uh, so the first one, goals and wide free kick. Yeah. Second goal was Goldson again, second phase where the ball came out, came back in. Ibox 1-0, the own goal, fair corner. Corner, yeah, that's and right. And then Morelos, fair corner. I, 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 I would like you to start adding these kind of words into your second phase. I never heard much of that. Simon, I don't agree with you. Oh. Yeah, that's fair enough, mate. What would you call it then? I think when I listen, I turn the telly five times a week. You what? I turn the telly five times a week. Average, hey, on average. to go to bed? <laughs> when I'm watching <laughs> <laughs> when I'm either hearing a pundit or a manager talking, I have to turn who, who specifically when they're talking? Majority, no. Even the Scottish game and the English game, it's, it's getting turned off quickly. The managers, the stuff they're coming out with, it's a lot of nonsense. What's, your, what, what's the worst one that you've done? Like? T T Tam to show for Chelsea. <laughs> Cannot listen to the guy. Can't <laughs> what words does he do? What? I listened to him at the weekend saying, and you could be right. He was talking about Timo Verma. Talking about he was talking about Timo Verma and his lack of goals. I had to take the one minute. And he said, a, like, aye. Did you hear that? <laughs> I was like, what is he talking about? No, the worst. Ian, the worst. Holloway, Ian Holloway with a German accent, it was terrible. The worst ever was the one you showed me with Steve McLaren with a dove 
No, I love the ball down. Genius. That, no, <laughs> you squeeze it too tight. So is, is that what you like? I like so that. that. You like that? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. But do you so you hate like through the lines and all that no? Stuff? I, think, I think like through the lines stuff is fine. It's mere this uh, project stuff. I cannot go projects and it's when I listen to when, when managers and, and pundits talk if, if it was new it's like a new game they're talking about no it's not Aye. they talk about passing it for the back you deposition every single fucking day in training <laughs> so how's it hard to pass it fucking back <laughs> it doesn't make sense but I'm listening to this I, I can't listen to it, it was just, Ken, do you agree huh? Aye, my old manager it. I put a video up there my old manager Peter Reid was, was speaking exactly the way he's saying this about oh fuck's sake high, high <laughs> Mate, that's press. what he's on level of high, high, high presses <laughs> and uh, recycling <laughs> things as we used to just call it like go and squeeze I seen it's that the I same words and I'm going like, to say something on that was well said we Peter ah, <laughs> fuck you you Peter you me that there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say something here and you're going to disagree with me uh, you can talk about tactics you can talk about brilliance all this and all that the teams that have the best players and most money win don't care what anybody says if you look down history who wins the Scottish League since we've been up? Celtic or Rangers? There we go. Did they do well in Europe? No, because teams have got better players than them. Let's go to um, France, PSG. Since we've got money, they win the league every year. We go to Germany, Bayern Munich win the league every year. So, so why, are, know, why are they all top of the league in France now? <laughs> and why? <laughs> you went to spend? You went to some win the league, you know? No. <laughs> Athletic one will top the league in Spain. Spain, huh? Aye. <laughs> Aye. That's bad, oh, brilliant. Uh, right, bad talking to angry managers. I love you, mate. You're <laughs> what about Chipper at the weekend, man? Brilliant. Yeah. Lost his man, didn't he? Class. Brilliant. Class. A bit of passion, aye, aye. isn't it? Aye. Even though Andy was talking about Chipper. Aye. Talking shit, Chipper. No sense, but brilliant. But what's wrong? No, is he talking shit, though? Because. Nah, he's the, the penalty. Exactly no, though. See, no, the no, penalty. It's, it's not a penalty. No, I don't think it's no. a penalty, but. The button was before it as well. Did you see that? I still think I still, I, I, st I still like I still like it for him though. I yeah. still like the passion. I still like he's using some how, what can we say on that profanity? Bit oh, of profanity. Yes, oh, yeah. really like that. <laughs> Second because face profanity. His team's been beat for you now, right? Saying it wasn't deserved. It probably was chipper, right? But that's one way to try and galvanise your players by coming out. Yeah. Having yeah. a go at other people, everyone's against us, so we need to be all together. I, I thought it was brilliant. brilliant. Like, he's a genius, isn't he? Ah, yes, yeah. he's yeah. brilliant. Yes. We always talk about it in this country. We say there's not enough people who have got talking points about them. All weekend, everybody's seen, have you seen the Chipper interview? It's brilliant for him. Yeah, it really, really was. He really was so was. angry. Yeah. Oh, he was so angry, wasn't he? Aye. I phoned him three times. <laughs> who was it he phoned? Crawford Allen three Arles. times. Aye. Why didn't Crawford Allen just look at Brian Lee? Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck Chipper. Do you know what he done? Phoned. Do you know? Phoned Mike Dean. Aye. Do you think Mike Dean's going to come back? That's threatening me, so... Chipper could be in a bag of trouble. Chipper could be in a box soon, man. Can he sell off it, man? That's dangerous. Uh, I've not been in a box for weeks, mate. So. <laughs> no, but if Hamilton are losing 3-0 at this stage of the season, because we all know how good they are at this stage no, of the season, it must have been the ref. Must have been. Who was the ref? Oh, I know who the ref was. Uh -huh. Is it true Mike Dean's got a Danny Dyer tattoo? Aye, yeah, no, he does. Aye. He does, aye. Aye. Yeah, he's got that. But no. is, um, West Ham. No, no, who is it? Tranmere. He's Tranmere. Tranmere badge, I what is that? Tramier badge. Oh, Tramier badge. Uh -huh. Tramier are flying just now. So. Um, he said, decisions against the team I've forgotten about because it's only Hamilton. He's got a point. You think so, Kev? Uh -huh. right. So what, you think a referee deliberately goes out? No, I don't think a referee deliberately goes out. I think what happens is that when something happens between the old firm, there's enough noise made that it brings up enough talking points that people talk about it and it becomes a thing. Whereas what happened there at the weekend with Hamilton and what Chipper's trying to say is that there's not enough noise being made so people just brush it to the side and forget about it. Mm. Whereas had that been Celtic or Rangers, we'd still be talking about that next week on the forums and the, the phone-ins and things like that. Whereas with Hamilton, nobody's really asked. But that also backfires on Celtic and Rangers as well, doesn't it? Because they ah, get pulled it does, up. But Chipper, Chipper I can understand his frustrations, but I would, I would like to think he was as angry with the striker that missed the fucking head off his three yards. Mayo, Moyo. Mayo, Moyo. Moyo. Hell. Do you think it's a penalty though? No, no I don't think it is. Ah? No, but I mean, that's a penalty. I guess he shot away, didn't he? I disagree with him completely on that talk about, about because it's Hamilton. I mean, we've seen bad decisions all year round yeah. with the ref, so mm. you can't say that. But I, I don't know though. I think Chipper's smarter than that. I think he's came out, and it's, as you see, the striker has missed a sitter, but he's coming out and attacking everybody else. <coughs> that old mentality, sees mentality, Simon. You know what I mean? Yes, definitely. Everybody's I'm against us. I think yes. he's smart with that. I don't yeah. think. I genuinely think that when he came in after the game, somebody's told him it's the cop afterwards. I think he realised it was a fucking league game. What he thought? He th I think he really thought it was a league game. And he's raging more than what he was for the the cup game. But Bye. Jim Goodwin did say, fair play to Jim Goodwin, that Hamilton were the better side, and it yeah. was never a three 0 But have you ever had managers that have 
done that in an interview. Was it Kevin Keegan, remember that? It was brilliant. Oh, wow. Amazing, man. That killed he, him. He back. cracked me, didn't he? That done him, uh, didn't it? They were top of the league and then after that they were done. Have you had a manager? Mad Pedro. <laughs> Ah, Pedro, with the caravan stuff and that. <laughs> what did she see with that stuff? I think you maybe have said it before, but see after that, what is the boys in the change room fighting? Did they, did they not really talk about it? it? No, it's just a case of like, not even talking about it. It's just like you obviously maybe seen the press conference and watched it, listen, and the same as everyone else. Like, what the fuck are you talking like, What does that mean? <laughs> Nobody knows what that means. <laughs> uh, uh, that's one I keep. It reminds us me of like with other managers. It's like you said, that, that Steve McLaren one. Mm-hmm. Uh, David Moisey when he got that new big cushion so she had that oh, counting in Spanish aye uh, counting in Spanish it's he, like, he's counting the number of rooms in his house wasn't he he's lost count <laughs> <laughs> 9, 10, 11 <laughs> <laughs> they had to cut the, the rest of it out but uh, it's mere stuff like that because sometimes you think well, like, why I know why it must be hard as a manager thought it if you go Moise, straight after the game one, two, three, four, they know what the fuck you're talking about <laughs> I know. you know what to count in Spanish remember Gary Neville's Said they had to speak in Spanish to the Valencia team and said, I'm going to do it in spoken French. Didn't he realise? What? He spoke the wrong one? Oh. To, sp- to the Valencia boys, spoken French, but they were looking at him and said, What are you doing? Oh, yeah. But uh, what was Phil doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come on, think of something, please. <laughs> think of something quickly. <laughs> 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 no, but wait, 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 I'm mad about managers coming out and slotting their own team. Oh, you didn't like uh, it? I don't like it at all, mate. I think it's good, it's, it's all right to be honest, but sometimes I think it's a blame game. To cover yourself, you blame the players. I don't think it's that bad if it's team wise, but individually, I don't yeah. agree. If you come out and, and start slotting individuals, especially if it's something you've no said in the changing room. Have you heard? Have you heard that? As a manager came out and ever slotted you and put it in the press? Mm-hmm. I don't think so, but uh, I mean, it wouldn't bother me if he came in and he slotted me in the changing room, yeah. like within the four walls, and said this, and then he came out and sort of reiterated that. That probably wouldn't bother me so much. But if you've came in, because we've all been there before, managers are saying something, but you're like, who's he talking about? You don't yeah, know yeah. Really sure who he's talking about. Right. But then if he's came out in the press and actually mentioned names, I don't, I don't agree. Yeah. You say that you, you actually liked it with the can. Yeah, the can used to do it to me all the time, man. Eh? On the radio and that, I just slaughter as a hand. Hopeless to do terrible. And you didn't mind because you knew you were? Uh-huh. Didn't bother. I, I rather it, mate. I, I, love, I love a manager being honest. Eh? The, jet, the jet gave me a hard time. On the press? Like, uh, like in the dressing room. Are like, we still I talking I about football here? Yeah? Nah, I fucking <laughs> bet did I. <laughs> he fucking honestly, he 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 used to sing them out quite a lot. Did he? Huh? Aye, what to the press, Kev? No, not the press. Like in, in the, the dressing room, room. But then he would always go and defend the team. Aye, that's mere. But I think I think that like you see Andy. If you, if it's all right getting it done in the the four walls. But see the minute the manager crosses the line outside, that's you and him done, surely. Right. Mm. Oh, think, yeah. He uh, don't come back from that. I would think. What have they slaughtered you in the press? Have they slaughtered me to the press? Aye. Would you go and pull them up? I fucking be If he, ne- if he yeah. never slaughtered you in the dressing room, though. No, uh, so like, Buchanan would slaughter you in the dressing room and he goes slaughter you to the radio. Aye, but if he, if he <laughs> came in and never said anything to you, but then went out in front of the cameras and aye. stuff, that, I wouldn't agree with that. Who's the worst? Mate, we drew it with Brentford once and he blamed the fool. Hang on, me. Eh? We, drew, we drew that game today because it's a Simon Fair. That's a lot of shit. He brought me and Gary Roberts out. Do you know Gary Roberts? Aye, Gary Roberts aye, me guy. and Rob had to come in. He came in at half time, right? And he's like, no matter what the result is, even if we won 4 0. Used to in tomorrow six o'clock. Terrible. But that's I mean, even I mean surely right, you've had a bad game. Say that's not your fault that the team's no one. Surely. No. Do you agree with managers when they say that like I'll, I'm only going for you because I like you to drink? That's all. I, I personally what? think that's a lot of shit. Because you can deal with. Aye. I, I no. I wouldn't so much if you can deal with. But do you know you get the offer like as this manager come up and say he's only on you all the time because he likes you by the yeah. way. I, I don't agree no, with no, that. Haven't that no. 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 I, Have you got a manager who's constantly on you? Terrible when I constantly. Was he? And I and I still don't think he liked me. But <laughs> how about just for everything? Just, I think it, probably a big chunk it because I was just young, uh, and, and probably a lot of it he probably deserved to go for me. But if you're 17, I'm oh, sorry. At that time I was 16, and you are losing. It's my 16 year old fault. Do you mm. know what I mean? Like, like there's got to be something deeper than that. Yeah. But I just felt as if he should come for me all the time. Yeah, I hate that, especially in a young boy. Yeah. Aye, all the time. But he, he would come for other players, don't get me wrong, but I would get it. Stinking. Mm, I don't like that with that. I got yeah. it. Ricky Sprazier, the, the, the Sunderland manager, my youth team manager, he used to come for me quite a lot after games. And I always felt like like that. He was picking on me, but I still genuinely thought that he was doing it for a better reason. Yeah. Because he, I thought, I felt like he would see something in you. And all he's trying to do is get that person that he's describing out of you. So... Obviously, you're saying the other thing, like disagreeing with it, but I think sometimes there is a point, but it depends on the tone. Aye. Because the tone can Whoa. be... Aye. Talk about tone, now? right? Talk about tone. So I, I, the one that I, that I always remember, the guy Bones was playing Albion Rovers away. And at this point, there was a few teams watching me because I'd scored a few goals at such a young age. And 
But I used to say to them all the time, don't tell me if teams are watching me because I used to, like, 16 year old. That's the worst thing, someone's here watching you. 16 year old, they're telling you, you cash on this one, that here you watch it, I was like, gonna no tell me anymore, like, just don't tell me. So, a couple of games later, played Alvin Rose, we drew one each, right? And I wasn't, I wasn't good, basically. And he's came in, he's like, ah, eh, man, that's what I, Newcastle, I, I. Well, that's them done. They're not coming for you now. But, they were at the game today, you've got no chance. We're just concentrating on living now because this is great. Oh. <laughs> but do you know how that is? You can now deal with criticism that because Aye. Gary Bowen's done that to you? I know, 100%, yeah. which is what I said to you. There was times where I did deserve it, yeah. but it was constant me, me, me all the time. Do you know mm. what I mean? So, like, there's times where I, it's borderline fucking Billy. Yeah. <laughs> He's gone for this one okay. 16 year old young boy. But Strachan but, was similar, mate, wasn't it? Aye, but do you know how Strachan would pick Strachan. one person in a training session, he would just stand next to you. If it was your day, he would just stand. And but that's what I was going to say, your day. He and would then go to someone else. Uh, it doesn't matter if you were a captain for the last 10 years, uh, right? he would go for, for anyone. anyone. Wait, I'll never forget, like, mate. Lenny used to, like, if I was playing up against Lenny in a bounce game, and Lenny'd pass it back to the centre half. He'd be like, brilliant, Lenny. And then I remember once passing it back to the centre, he went, stop. Give the ball to other team, negative play. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Lenny's just done that. Exactly right. Oh, mate. But oh, mate. I think that, that, that I didn't to try and help you, isn't it? Ah, they've got to be, they have to be. I just, like, you're saying there, that when you feel, you know you're having a stink of a session and the manager's on you, they're fucking, you just want to hide and there's yeah. no way out of hide. You're like, didn't give me the ball, didn't give me the ball. But, yeah. but you like, so, I can't handle somebody shouting at me. Why did you, what was it you didn't like about somebody shouting at you? Just could take it. Did you know that? Nah. Well, did you actually feel like it made you play worse? Or what? No want to make a mistake or what? No, so it depends. Or they put you in your shell? Aye. Is that no, a confidence thing? Sometimes I, I, just, I, I thought, no, he's rang there, I was good in that way. Do you right. know what I mean? That way. But in, in training, if a gaffer was on me or a senior player, Alice would be shattered. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, that, I mean, that's got but, to be expected though, isn't it? No, so I've seen your players on you right far. Yeah. But the difference is that would affect me <clears throat> that night, the next day, the next few days, keep thinking oh, that they hit me, that now, that, whatever. That's the difference. You don't go to tap. At the, at the top clubs, you must, you're going to have bad games. Mm. You need to deal with it. So. I was going to make a point there, but it sort of backfires it. So, so you, you, you stay point, just questioning yourself exactly. all the time when that was happening? Question whether you were good enough to be there in that environment. Question then, whether. Then, and then the old one, you going for a water and you see them bust building each other. I bet you ain't talking about you. You know they're talking about you, don't you? I hated that in football. That's the one thing. Really I didn't, like didn't that, mind eh? anybody having criticism, but see, the one thing I hated was when something negative was said to you and then the two of them went away and started whispering. Mm. I f honestly, I hated that because it just made you feel like they're talk they are talking yeah. about you. To be fair, it was like, see if I knew I played well. It wouldn't bother me, but if I was shite and I had it, it would kill me. Because I knew I was shite. But was it not like the Chris McCartney shout at you quite a bit and you're no. like, no, he was just left you? He was the opposite. He was shouting at other boys, but he knew how he get the best out of me. So maybe it's the coach's fault then, isn't it? Well, I was just, that's what I was going to say. So now everybody says, like, oh, this generation, they can't handle criticism and that. Do you know, I think it's, it's mere coaches just don't do it. Mm. To, so put, like, I, it's not that I don't think players can't handle criticism anymore. It's just different now, but like, Back then, like coaches would be on you constantly. Yeah. When they, even your youth coach, what were your youth co coaches like? Yeah, fucking under That's 17, under 18, for us, but then something rang. But see if you watch like under 18s training now, or even younger players in the first team, it's actually it's more coaches that have changed but yeah. rather than actually the generation of players. Mm. Uh, coaches are not the type that. No, no, no like, there's a new wave of players that yeah. doesn't want to scream and shout at somebody. Yeah. But I think, makes, I think there is always, I'm being, I'm being, I think there is always a place for it. Eh? So I think it should be done. 100%. Time and a place for it. Yeah. 100%. Well, the reason I'm going to say it is, Simon, mean, is see if you can handle a player that you forget going out and there's fans shouting at you, 60,000 right. fans or whatever it is, you, that gets you ready for it. And if you're not ready for it, you'll not play. Kenny McDowell's favourite quote, how you, if you can't handle me shouting at you, how are you going to handle 60,000? But it's right, isn't it? It's 100% right. Mm. Good to be chat there, lads. I like that. Mm -hmm. Well done. Chipper didn't get long with, did he? Nah. <laughs> He's right, and he would just <laughs> fucked up. Started talking to someone. Yeah, let's fucking move on. Chipper's going, to, Chipper's going to phone you up in Clyde One and phone. Are you really fucking talking about me? No, we're going to get Chipper on you. See, that's it. The interview, though, I was generally buzzing. I loved it. Uh -huh. I, thought I thought it was brilliant. brilliant. It was definitely yeah. passion. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, again, Fol what about Falkirk's Twitter? Having a pop at Ryan Christie. I, I want Slain to start with us. I, I'd love to know what you think about this. Absolutely pathetic. For Falkirk? Aye. Absolutely pathetic. Is it not just a laugh now? No, but listen, I, I'm all down for a laugh, right? And Ryan Christie's probably looked at it and thought, who cares? Yeah. But why is it with social media these days? No, fucking, no. the guy's controlling the club's social media, trying no. to like, be disrespect, disrespectful to other players all the time. 
I think nah, was, I agree. I was just trying to cause an argument there, but no, nah, you can't. I think we, I think, I think it's, there's jokes here you can say, but know that we've talked about racism, right? Racism is a thing. See that there? Well, that's a thing as well. I don't care what anybody says. See when you pick up social media and you read something negative about you. you no, know, every character is the same in terms of they can deal with can that deal negative with, uh, because of, so it's all right thinking. Oh, it's just a bit of banter. It's a bit of banter to you, but it might not be a bit of banter to the other person receiving it. Mm. And for me. You can see the joke in it, but at the same time, I think from a professional club mm -hmm. who are be. trying to eradicate things on social media and they're trying to get this type of thing out of the game, that's that's a I, I'd get the I'd get yeah. the door. I can't mm. believe I've said that. I slap players every single week. I know we do. <laughs> I know, but you didn't do it on Twitter, did no. you? People can I jump know. on it. Do you know what I mean? No. But uh, regardless, like you're you're sort of here to give your opinion. A, a club social media is supposed to be commentating on the game. They're not yeah. supposed to try to disrespect yeah. other players. And see, to be honest, that one, right? That specific tweet wasn't that bad. But in, in general, mm. club social media accounts are getting wide. Yeah. <laughs> they are getting wide, mate. Yeah, they're, they're actually getting wide. Dean. Yeah. Need time in. My but Dean's got Dean to. Uh, see, 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 do you see Leeds about Jagielka scoring the own goal? No, what like, did they say? Oh, what a hit by Jagielka goal and all that. Like, fuck Even you guys up, that are writing this, slagging guys like Ryan Christie and Phil Jagielka. Now, you'd love to get them out in the park, wouldn't you? Hang on, so go and keep the ball. Possible. I love that. I knew you done. But the thing is, nobody knows who nobody knows who actually got is writing their the name social media exactly. account, so they're, they're, they're not even putting their name to who's doing it. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I think, I honestly, I think it's a shambles. Right, like I said, right, Chris, he'll be watching. You know, he'll not be caring. He'll be embarrassed for them. Aye, uh, they should be he, he, he scored, and that shut him up anyway. So, see the shooting thing too. He's an attacking player. I, I want my attacking players to shoot. Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? It's not like he shot and passed the ball back to me the time. I know, I know Lee Miller really well as well, and I guarantee that annoyed him. Guaranteed. Yeah, he takes it. Guaranteed, he'd have hated that. Mm -hmm. well, I think he's a handsome, isn't he, big Lee? Yes, a big guy. A big guy, handsome boy, yeah. Great guy as well. Good, but absolute uh, legend. Oh, you yeah, middles were away, yeah? Aye. We played Falkirk last year, mate. Lee Miller was their best player about a mile, eh? Aye. Played as a man. Oh, don't tell me. Uh-huh. Good player, mate. Good guy as well. Dave McCracken as well. Uh, they all got this year, Falkirk as well, so. I bet it's not quite close. Like four, four points and Partick, uh, is it Falkirk? No, Cove, 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 uh, that's right. So I just can can we get Peter, can Peter Heed uh, make a late charge to go up? Still mate, got a chance of the playoffs, mate. And that, would be, result mate us, that would be incredible. Imagine you getting up. I think he has Kev at the game. We need to get to a game of Sai. We need to commentate on If everything gets back in, I'll get his in the world, eh? That'd be unbelievable. I obviously <laughs> needs to be a game. It obviously needs to be a away game because I'm not going up to Peter Heed. Nah, I have Peter Heed journey is brilliant, mate. Peter, Peter. We can't on the way back, can't have eaten it, yeah. Do you get a minibus? Jimmy Mack's so bothered to, right? We've got this guy. There's this guy comes to get he's, he's just that a guy for Peter Head, his name's Walter. I think Jimmy's got pal with him just through him being, being a fan and stuff like that. Last year, Walter starting before the game, half two, Walter sitting in the dressing room. Sitting for the team talk. I'm like, what is happening here, right? So we're playing on the game. I look over at the bench, mate, and this random guy sitting in the Jimmy <laughs> Mack's up and sat on the bench for the dugout, right? During the game, so I'm looking at him. He starts shouting at boys on the side. No this way. Run, I swear. That's just how laid back Jimmy Mack is. Mate, we're getting at half time, right? I always come in last. Usually, I didn't go to the ref or something, coming last. Mate, Walter's going around the boys tell, telling them stuff what to do in the game. Oh, man. <laughs> Who's Walter? How does he come to? <laughs> it's like a mad random guy that he watches the show, actually, actually loves it. But Walter was in, the, in, in our dugout for about four games last year, mate. See, wow. he's like, a player. Did you ever have people at like, at football clubs that weren't a, say weren't a coach or weren't a part of the coaching mean, staff and they used, used to be on the training ground and used to like try and coach try and coach yeah. stuff like that. I've had a couple of them man I wish I could Where about the bastards but uh, was what, there was one at Rangers there was one at Rangers what he was just a guy that worked in Murray Park and he would just come out to training in there touchy subject because he's no there than who <laughs> right. but uh, he's actually been in the paper recently so I don't know if you've seen it but oh, he, he used to try and coach players mid training and he used to be like what? fucking shut up <laughs> I know that. You know who I'm talking about, probably, but I. I just always think, why, why, why are you even out here coaching? Coaching. Like, you've got a joke. <laughs> sure, what is it? What is it? What's it? Is, what's the chappy? And by the way, sorry, sorry, it's all under the coaching. It was coaching that was completely contradicting what the actual coaches are trying to do. So it's like, what are you doing? Anyway, what are you wow. saying, chappy? What's the chap? What's the chappy? Is it walking? What? Is it a chappy? The chaplain. A chapman. Ah, uh, mate. Uh, chapman, before a game. And like the religious guy aye. comes in, huh? You fucking bollock. Yeah, we, we've got that, Peter. Aye, yeah, bollock naked. Got one. You're guy bollock Neil. naked, he's watching you. <laughs> Mate, you're getting fucking red and he's stalling about it. Like, get the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what club did you have at? Uh, it was, it was Albion Rovers when I went in for like one week or something. Right. He's stalling about. Uh, a chaplain. Every club's got club a chaplain. Club chaplain, uh -huh. 
That's no, right. Every club's got a chaplain, so it's just like a minister who works for the, really? the Church of Scotland. And they come in and basically just sit. We used to have the guy, Neil, he actually married me, the chaplain at Kilmarnock. Married me. You need yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You won't get that one, big man. Did you get married at Rugby Park? No. The chaplain at Kamarnock was such a, he was a Neil, great guy. Top, all the players respected him. Right. And he would come in every Friday, sit in the dressing room, fully kitted up, come out and train mess, keep ball sessions. And I mean, he'd be up to, I he'd be up to the keep ball sessions. And then obviously he'd get palmed off and we started doing the tactics and the shooting drill and stuff. And then I got to know him and used to speak to him about a few things and um, confined in him. And, and then when I decided to get married, I said, Neil, would you marry right. me in London? I tell you what, right, he he was, what a performance he put in the, 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 the day of the ceremony. Did Amazing. He, like, what, what the whole in? wedding congregation were like, it's probably one of the best weddings I've ever been at. How just the stuff he was saying? Like? Ah, he just related, he just did it as a, a football type theme marriage and it was amazing. Obviously, Lynn was oh, the goalie. Goal would have loved it. Didn't he would have loved it. Gloves on, but, Slide a bit, no, no. But every, every club's got a chaplain. And I think I'm just there for a guy, a go to guy. I, I never, I couldn't mind the guy at Rangers, though. Do you remember Midge? Yeah. I, I, I don't think I've ever. But there is one Lane attached to each club. No. Who's yeah. that? Gary Parker's pal, no. No. Uh, well, Gary Parker, no, the. Was she no. Strikers? No, Gary Parker was a Lenny. Hey, uh, Gary Pendry. Gary Pendry. Pendry. Pendry, Gary mate. Pendry, yeah. He was just <laughs> behind him. No, what was he saying about the ball's been flat? Oh, mate, I was on the bench for Celtic once and he wouldn't have shut up about the ball being. <laughs> ball's not round, God. I'm telling you, God. <laughs> and like some dude made a mistake and Strikers would like say, What's he doing? He's like, It's not him, God. It's the ball. Check it, God. <laughs> Doogie McFucking Donut. So he used to call Doogie McDonald Doogie McDonut. <laughs> oh, yes, he was a legend on all. He was sound, man. Yeah. You get some joke figures, but didn't you? <laughs> you don't want It's just so many joke figures in it. Club, Do you know what I hate? Do you ever get fans coming the day of tour or something, or the responsors oh. for the day, and they're coming at the dressing room before, and they try and get wide with you as well? See what you're talking about, people getting wide with you? are like, nah, fuck I you talking to? Oh, no. I'm not. I'm going to go back to how you plan to do that. I know. Are you fucking talking to? Nah. No, no, it's no, the worst is what happened today, that one. Oh, what happened today? Oh. Oh. What do you think happened? You sat and watched it. It was shite. <laughs> right. we, try, we try to get beat. That's what they've done. Uh -huh. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey, right, Curtis Woodhouse. Have you, have you see, seen this? I did see it actually. I, yeah. I don't know what to slaughter him too because he. I don't know what to do. Kinda... Can you film me inside? So told the press at the weekend how his move to Rangers fell through after the club brought him up to Glasgow, but Advocate pulled the plug. They were in the bath together. Uh, pulled the plug. Out. There was probably <laughs> more strippers in my hotel room than the strip club itself. We ended up running up a ten thousand pound bar bill, and that's why the deal fell through. Mm. What are you saying, hero, or what? Are you not continuing the rest of the story? He quit football, become a boxer. No, but. There was he had a acquaintance and then the back they were in Amsterdam at the time. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, the time the time might have been. Is it similar? Uh, 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 what was it? Dick Advocate, you said? Dick Advocate. No. Uh, no. Did no, 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 no. <laughs> you read Dick might have been in Holland then? <laughs> Cut us with that'd have been some move for Christmas. That was a wee dick in Holland, you're fucking right. What is that? So that was a wee dick in Holland, you're right. <laughs> I think you're a bad man for me to really hear, hear how good was the strippers when you called me when I was a boys. <laughs> <laughs> See, when you were young boys at football clubs, you'd we'd always go to the strippers with Jizz. Nah. Night suit? You'd always go to strippers. If you're awkward a bit when you're sitting there, man, what's that, their ass on you, man? You're looking at like a boy. <laughs> And you look across and the band of the boys is exact same, mate. And they do your cut eye and your lashes are shocking. <laughs> Sorry, man. I don't know what I'm going to do. Your first team, son, on they used to organise a uh, youth team Christmas party. And it was strippers. Well, they'd bring strippers in? They'd bring, the, the first team would hire the strippers in. And we'd all sit around a big... We'd hear like an all-day drinking session in a pub in Durham. Right. And then we'd go upstairs at a certain time and we're all doing a big circle. And then in we'd bowl, like, the music would come on. See four strippers. Fucking amazing dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Jen, god. Do you think that's true? I don't know. How can that be true? Is that far fetched? It's he was a bit wild though, Curtis Woodhouse. There's no like, way, way you The strippers in Glasgow are costing 10 grand. Hi, I know. Slaney, how much are we? Oh, is that how much Susan charges? <laughs> Slaney, 10 grand? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I can feel <laughs> No, that the, 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 the stuff was the worst bit in it, but when you, like, if, like I, I'm not new, but see when you're mad as fuck, you know my ma, what I don't my ma, see when you, you end up with a chubby one, man, that was shite, wasn't it? Oh, what? <laughs> when you end up with a chubby one, it was shite. <laughs> Do you, want, do you want a dance, pal? I hate to do that. Sorry, boys, let's move on to this shite. Right, anyway, I'm going to just take care of you, but here, 
If it was, he was obviously into oh, boxing. Yeah, he became a boxer. What sport would you back to do if you were a football player? Start with you, Kevin Kyle. I actually know yours golf. Uh -huh. I, I think now that I'm into, into golf, I wish I'd took up golf at an early age instead of football. I think I could have been better at golf. You should have been when you got to golf, so I want to get into think, it. I think generally I could have been better at golf than I am at football. Mm. But darts as well. Nah, you, I was going to say that. Surely yeah. darts for you. I just think that, I don't know. But football, I don't do even you, know. Do you enjoy playing darts, Kev? Is it a good I did enjoy, enjoy it. I enjoyed the Monday night and doing it work, play with the guys that just finished a lot and a couple of pints, a few throws. And I, you had you that enjoy it if you're good at it or not. Aye. You? Always like to try and beat the better players. Right. They would beat me and I'd go away. I, I'm, I'm the world's worst loser in everything. See if I lose at something, fuck it, I can't even speak to people. Mm. Got to go away, shake my head and then come back. And I always you can be used to it, Bannon. <laughs> well, absolutely determined <laughs> to, to beat them the week, the week after. But when I was younger, I only, only knew football. I, wasn't, mm. I didn't play start golf till I was 23 and I didn't start darts till I was 32. So, nah. I, I played with Leon McKenzie. He the, became a boxer. He was a boxer as well, wasn't he? Yeah, that's right. He was, he was hard as... He was, he was a screwball, wasn't he? Oh, mate, what he happened was... to Neil Ferdinand? He, he did. Did he know who else? He never done fight Neil Ferdinand. He was no a charity ah? fight type thing. a charity fight? I bet he never done it, did he? Ah, he was gonna, who was he going to fight? I can't remember, but I remember he came out and said he was wanting to get a go. It was after, remember, remember Freddie Funtos? Freddie Funtos. Did you watch that? No. Nah. That was a shambles. That was a shambles. Yeah, was two, a shambles. two drunk guys. Two drunk guys at the pub. What about you, Paul? That's a good question. You must have been sporty. You've got to be better about everything. My, how do we do that? I know it's wee bit. <laughs> what, what would yours be? Don't know. Simon, you're not really sporty, yeah? Nah. I'm not good. I am. I do was you know what I said in no school? Good. Softball. Aye. Uh, oh, is that right? Uh, rounders? Rounders, I love that, eh? Wish I could have done that. I actually quite like volleyball in school. Volleyball's uh, in Oh, like, no. Just as a PE love. sport. Badminton. What? Bad I know. Right. Badminton's we had, the, we had the second number two ranked woman in Scotland. Badminton in her, had in her, in your in her school, aye. Yeah. unbelievable. She used to play people on her knees and that. I love the wee drop shot, do you? Aye, the, the finesse one. Uh -huh. I'm, I wasn't good enough though at like any other sport to, to consider. No. I would love, if I had to pick one, it would be golf, but I'm shite at golf. Mm -hmm. But so I would sure go be snooker. No, I was He's good at snooker. I know he is, aye, that's what snooker, I'm saying. Unbelievable at tennis. What would he have snooker drop? Uh, tennis, you were shite, mate. So? I'll be honest, I have. Seven volley, but one good. Seven volley, What do you think of the draw with Stephen Henry's comeback? Pathetic. Jimmy White. Put the tournament first round. <laughs> is that not a night, no? It's it's on on the night. Is it on the night? It's Who's on the he night. playing, Stephen Henry? Stephen Henry, Jimmy, Jimmy White. White in the back in the professionals? Uh, uh, well, right. I think Stephen's trying to get in and Jimmy's trying to get in. back to the 1990s. The the sport. Sport. The the <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Lee coming back. Stephen Lee. Fancy it. Like Shea Logan's at Hearts as well. Aye, good training. Done well at the weekend, too. It wasn't the best game in the world, but I think it was his first game in five months or something like that and he actually did they did they really well and I think one of, the, one of your biggest problems this year has been conceding too many poor goals so one positive was obviously getting, getting a clean sheet and he was a big part of it. You and him just sitting slightly brilliant, huh? No. <laughs> you, you know I'm not like that. <laughs> no, I know mate. Good signing for Hearts, Paul? Uh, aye, alright Simon, I think he's, uh, he's, one, I think he's one of the type of players that always give you a 6, 7 out of 10 every week, steady Eddie. Um, not interesting the players ever. Nah, I know what excite fans that guy, but no, listen, good to him, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm here, listen, <laughs> just, just a minute, it's, it's no bit, we want to fucking relax a wee bit about it, fucking run away with the league, <laughs> fuck yeah, I want to stay good, goodness me, man, run away with the league, what else you want, <laughs> mean, to beat Bora would have been a start to be fair, Yeah. Aye. but you're going to get criticism, aren't you, you're going to get criticism, like you said, the, the objective for us at the start of the season was to, was to win the league, but do it well, perform well. So I think the criticism's definitely been justified by some of the performances, but it's just at the end of the day, if we get if we get the club back to to where they where they belong, where they want to be, we know that we need to we need to improve and get Andy, better for next he year. Had back that, he had that speech written on his hand. Rangers are prime example again <laughs> down the lower leagues and some weeks it wasn't pretty. Aye. Yeah, years stopped to get by up. them and they got back and knew they're the, the champions in 55. Hearts aren't going to quite get 55, but what they're going to do is they're going to be back in playing against Hibs three, four times a season, competing at the top level. That's all you need to ask for. Sometimes it isn't pretty, but... Um, no, I, I think just gave Robbie Neal's a wee bit more faith, a wee bit more trust, gave the, the pre-season with some of the... Some of the new, likes of yourself and other players that come in later on in the season, so didn't they have a, a pre-season behind them? Mm. Um, so, no, I think just get promoted and so this isn't fine. next year. But that's why you get... That's why you're at a big... That's what happens when you're at a big club, isn't it? No, that's why you get paid the big bucks, mate. That's why you're sitting dripping in Gucci and a exactly. man, it, young man? No me mate. Hey, can I Remember Ross McCormick message you saying I like that chin? 
Dickchen, he said to me. What's happening, Dickchen? How are you, pal? <laughs> what? Do you know? <laughs> ah, yeah. Pals. What's happening, So Dick- there's a story behind that nickname then? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking about bad results to the broader one, Ireland. Wow. Luxembourg and Drew. Is it Qatar? Qatar. Mate, they're brilliant, though. Qatar. Uh, really? Should have got that, eh? Huh. Who's good for them? Xavi Hernandez went earlier. Oh, he's changed them? Ten years ago and changed the whole system. Show us how Qatar play. Playing for back. Did they? Yeah. Clipping it to full back. Clipping it to full back. Oh, so, like that. so hard. So they've got, so a ball play, <laughs> they've got a ball playing goalie. Ball playing goalie, brilliant. So hard to get one enough. No, listen. <laughs> well, he get sacked. Stephen Kenny. I think he should. What, was the Dunfermline manager? He's not one, one, one like a... See, see the thing is, when he took over Ireland, Mick McCarthy was still in charge. Yeah. I think, and they, Mick McCarthy had obviously got into the playoffs, and because of COVID, the playoffs had got put back a certain date. So that their dates run past Stephen Kenny. Stephen Kenny was supposed to start on a certain date, and obviously by that time, Mick McCarthy would have had the qualifiers not done. He ended up saying, No, I want the job now. Took the job, didn't he win the playoffs, and now he's not won a game in 11 or 12 mm. or something like this, and losing it to Luxembourg and, Qatar, and drawing with Qatar. It's a big job to get for you managing the League of Ireland to get an Ireland job, isn't it? But apparently they, they absolutely praise him, the FAI. They think he's like the next big thing. Mm. Um, but is Ireland going through a process of not having the players that the ones used to have? Roy well, Keane said that, didn't he? He says, it's not blaming the manager too much. There's not a lot of good players aye. around. So uh, you've got to gain... <laughs> you could say that a bit. Aye, you've got, you've got to gain some sort of leeway, but I don't. if, if we're even at the top of our heads... Start naming off a couple of Irish players who are prominent now in the top leagues. Is there that many? Mm-hmm. Steve Staunton, who else? Regardless, you can't even get beat by Luxembourg. No. Yeah. Goodness me. So you want him sacked? Aye. <laughs> Should <laughs> be. Out you go. And who, 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 who'll get it? Mm. Chipper. Chipper will be up there. Just <laughs> slotting everybody, will not he? Mm. <laughs> Don't care about Just Ireland. like Ireland, nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know, I'll, I'll say I'd love to see Roy Keane getting it. Oh, would you, right? Aye, full manager, no assistant, full manager. I do think you, to, to manage your country, you should be that for that nation. Aye. If, if oh, you're getting right? an Ireland job, you should be Irish. Aye. If you're getting a Scotland job, you should be Scottish. Scottish. I know that sounds daft, but I don't know. I've just always felt that way. Good point. Good point. Oh, damn, that was really good. I'm not kidding. Oh, fuck you. No. Oh, right yeah, by the way. What, Kev? Right now, we've got the, have we not got five, like five UK, five managers? from five. Aye. They're, so. all, they're all from, so Kenny, Robert Page, Jack Wales. Wales. Yeah. Stevie Clark, Scottish. Perfect Clark's not coaching any of them. Uh, he's got John Carver and uh, Stephen oh, Reid in it. Stephen Reid, yeah. Irish and English. I'll oh. tell you one thing, topic coaching. This guy here is. Ex- <laughs> I'm going to say it now. He's going to be one of the best coaches in Britain. So <laughs> he tells us. No, here. Trust me. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know your stuff, mate. No, I don't know. Not here. I didn't realise it to this level. I think he kids on that he does need a care either. I think he really does oh, care. No, I no. care mate, hundred percent. And when he, we, when this is almost like the changing room and stuff like that. But when he's out of here, my god, that's what he thinks about DND. Do you know what I can't understand? I can't believe <laughs> rather that this guy goes out running like every day. I just don't. I, I don't, <laughs> just can't see it. Yeah, he drank whiskey the night before and then goes up. Does the thank you? I know he's breathing. I, it, he's breathing heavier than me. Climbing up these stairs. <laughs> what's that? Are you? Is a struggle? Did he hear you? Trust me, so was Ten k yesterday, man. Ten. What's your 5k time? 19 minutes. 19? That's me, that's some god, I'm mm. telling you. It's What's your 5k time, Stevie? Uh-huh. 40. <laughs> Come on, big man, we've got golf to go to. Let's go, go down the golf. Go.